Good morning, dear student. Today, I will tell you regarding control and coordination in human. Control and coordination in humans. That is in human beings. Fine. Okay. So basically, uh, there are two system present in our body. How many? There are two system are present in our body. First is called as nervous system, and second is called as endocrine system, or it's known as hormonal system. Okay. So in human being, this nervous system and endocrine systems is work together to control and coordinate all our activity, such as our physical action, our thinking, our thinking process, our emotional behavior. Okay. So all are controlled by only two systems that are present in a human being. That is called as nervous system and endocrine system. So let's discuss with this nervous system first. What exactly it is? Okay. So, what do you mean by nervous system? So, nervous system is nothing but definition. Okay. What exactly the nervous system? So, nervous system is composed of specialized cells. It's composed by specialized cells. That cell is known as nerve cell. Okay. Or it's also known as neuron. Right. So how can you define the nervous system? Nervous system is composed of specialized cells called as nerve cells or neurons. And that nerve cells and neurons, okay, you can see it's a functional unit of a nervous system. So, neuron is a functional, it's a functional unit of nervous system, okay. Then we will see what are these functions of nervous system, okay. Let's see what are the functions of nervous system. What is the significance of nervous system? Why these nervous systems are present in our body? How it works? Okay. What is the need of a nervous system? So we will see what are the functions of right now. What are the functions of nervous system? So first function is that of nervous system is it establishes very quick connection. Okay. It establishes very quick connection. It's among the cells, organs, tissue of a body. Okay. It establishes very quick connection. Bohut jaldi connection bana leta hai. Where? Amongst cells. organs and tissues of the body okay that is the first function of nervous system second is that it control all the voluntary movement okay it's control all voluntary movements okay so what do you mean by voluntary movements the movement that are under the control of our will yani jo cheeze hum apni marzi se kar sakte hai it's known as voluntary control right voluntary control yani mujhe yahan se mujhe ghar se garden jana hai ye meri ichha hai okay so, I will go. That is called as voluntary control. I will go, so I will go. Understood? I have to go shopping. 
सो so, मैं यहाँ से घर से शॉपिंग मॉल जाऊंगी ओके okay? क्यों क्योंकि मुझे शॉपिंग करने की मेरी इच्छा है मुझे ये ड्रेस लेना है मुझे वो ड्रेस लेना है मुझे ये खाना है मुझे वो पीना है वो मेरी चॉइसेस है ओके दैट इज कॉल एज वॉलेंट्री कंट्रोल ओके सो दैट ऑल दिस वॉलेंट्री कंट्रोल्ड आर कंट्रोल बाय द नर्वस सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल लोकोमोशन लोकोमोशन वॉट इन मै लोकोमोशन इन वॉलेंट्री कंट्रोल आई एम गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लोकोमोशन What do you mean by locomotion? The movement of body from one place to another place. Okay, that is controlled by nervous system. Next, third important or functions of this nervous system is it control involuntary movement also. It controls involuntary movements. Okay. so what type of involuntary movements what do you mean involuntary movements these are not under the control of our will okay yani jo cheeze hum apni marzi se nahi kar sakte that response is known as involuntary control okay it's not control by our will will yani hamare will power se hum usko control nahi kar sakte that movement is known as involuntary movement so what type of involuntary movement For example, are controlled by the nervous systems are breathing. First is known as breathing. Okay? हम ऐसा कहते हैं नहीं आज नहीं नहीं है आज मैं इतना ब्रीथ लूंगा दो मिनट के लिए उसके बाद बंद कर दूंगा Okay? No, breathing is continuous process. And वो कब stop हो जाए कब कम बढ़ कम हो जाए या कब बढ़ जाए It is not under the control of our will. Okay? So that's why it comes under it. Involuntary movement, right? So breathing, then is circulation, then function of heart, and then peristalsis. So these all are involuntary movements are controlled by this nervous system. Circulation. नहीं आज मैं 50 एम एल ब्लड ही सर्कुलेट करूंगा थ्रू आउट बॉडी में उसके बाद नहीं करूंगा ओके कि हम डिसाइड कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल नहीं राइट सो दिस सर्कुलेशन ब्रीदिंग फंक्शन ऑफ हार्ट आज मुझे पंप करना है हार्ट बीट करना है और 5-10 मिनट बाद मैं रोक दूंगी बीटिंग ऐसे होता है बिल्कुल नहीं सो दिस ब्रीदिंग सर्कुलेशन फंक्शन ऑफ हार्ट एंड पेरिस्टल ऑल सार कम्स अंडर in involuntary movement and that all this involuntary movement controlled by this nervous system right now what do you mean by peristalsis first so peristalsis is nothing but the you know involuntary contraction and relaxation of the muscles of intestine okay what do you mean by it is a contract contraction and relaxation of muscles of intestine intestine okay and uh, not only intestine in another canal that canal creating a wave like movement and that pushes the contain of the canal in forward direction okay that is called as peristaltic movement jo hum khana khate hai right so from its elementary canal it goes to the stomach okay so elementary canals mein peristalsis hota hai okay isiliye wo ma एलिमेंट्री कैनल से धीरे धीरे पुश करते हुए कर, करते करते हुए कहा आती है स्टमक में आती है एंड अगेन आगे का प्रोसेस होता है सो दैट मूवमेंट दैट दैट कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द मसल्स ऑफ इंटेस्टाइन एंड नॉट ओनली दैट और अदर कैनल दैट क्रिएटिंग अ वेव लाइक मूवमेंट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट पुशेज द कंटेन और फूड फ्रॉम कैनल फॉरवर्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पेरिस्टाल्टिक मूवमेंट राइट नाउ The fourth important functions of a nervous system is that it receives and gives response to the external stimulus. Right? It receives this stimulus from the sense organs and give response to the stimulus with the help of effector. Okay? So I can say like that: it receives and gives what? responses 
to external stimuli right so this is a fourth important function of this neuron the next we will see it enable a man to adopt the change with the changing environment okay with the help of nervous system we can able to adapt in any type of environment right jaise ki hum abhi yahan rehte hain pune mein rehte hain pune ka atmosphere is really cool right ab wahi hum kahan rajasthan jate hain wahan ka environment kaisa hai it's really hot phir bhi hum wahan pe survival survive kar sakte hain okay राजस्थान नहीं गए हम कश्मीर जाएंगे कश्मीर का एनवायरनमेंट बहुत ही ठंडा बहुत ही कूल होता है राइट फिर भी हमारी बॉडी वहां पे स्टेबल होती है हम वहां पे सर्वाइव करती है ओके व्हाई इट इज सो बिकॉज ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम ओके दिस नर्वस सिस्टम एनेबल्स द मैन टू एडोप विथ द चेंजिंग एनवायरमेंट ओके सो नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ अ नर्वस सिस्टम इज दैट इज दैट it enables man to adapt with changing and moment okay and last but not least is very important is that it store this information right what is important it stores information right so these are few important functions are carried out by the nervous systems are present in our body okay so next we will see the actual human nervous system already we studied the human nervous system so as we know that the function of nervous system is what is the function of nervous system to coordinate all our body activities right to coordinate the activities of our body at the same time circulation is going on respiration is going on excretion is going on this process is going on right so at the time three simultaneous process is going on in our body in very smooth way okay so that is the function of nervous system okay so what is the function it function of nervous system is to coordinate it's maintain the balance or they make a coordination between all the activities of our body right so our nervous system is just like a manager inside our body okay this is a nervous system are present in our body so nervous system is just like a manager so nervous system is a manager of our body okay inside our body and what its job of manager what is the job of manager it control their it coordinate with it coordinates all the activities of their body when i am talking about the nervous system and what is in general the role of manager unke niche jo employees rehte hain unse kaam karwana in coordinate way that is the job of manager so here in our body also one manager is there that is called as nervous system and its job is to control and coordinate all the parts of body what is the job to control and coordinate all the parts of the all the parts of our body okay so that they work together okay so they control and coordinate all the parts of so that they work together they work together and doing their job at right time okay that is actually the role of function of manager that is nothing but the nervous system okay so nervous system coordinate muscles right what is this nervous system coordinate muscles 
so that we can do things which need thinking like reading writing cycling uh, and uh, you know dancing and all blah 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 okay and the things which we do not have to think about like heartbeat breathing and all so all this voluntary actions and non voluntary actions are coordinated by this nervous system that i am trying to say you okay that we are already discussed is control voluntary as well as involuntary actions okay if we are talking about the voluntary actions so what will happen we can doing lots of things right chapati banana then we are thinking we are reading the books now i am writing and explaining okay these all are this voluntary control and these are done by my muscles okay i am writing with the help of my hand but that in my hand lots of muscles are there that help me in the process of writing okay but certain things which we don't have to think about like a heartbeat and breathing that is also controlled by this nervous system okay so the human nervous system receive the information from the surrounding right then what will happen it receive the information from the surrounding first then it process it okay then after processing then interpret it and after interpretation what there then it response response accordingly okay this is the actual uh work of this nervous system okay this nervous system is work is like that okay the first what will the human nervous system receive this information first from the surrounding then it process it then it's interpret it and then it's response according to the stimulus okay that is a actual mechanism or working system protocol of a nervous system okay so nervous systems are also process the information from one internal system to the another internal system okay kya hota hai wo message jo hai wo ek nerve system se dusre system ko kya karti hai forward karti hai for example as soon as uh, we put a food in our mouth what will happen it immediately causes a release of saliva from a salivary gland right so it means since nervous system processes information from one internal system to the another internal system ha ya na barabar hai jab bhi hum food apne mouth mein dalte hai okay aur chew karne lagte hai it immediately kya hota hai it releases saliva from the salivary gland and it's mix so here it gives jab jaise hi humne food dala to woh kahan response gaya salivary gland pe aur fir salivary gland ne kya kiya yes it releases saliva it releases their secretions and that contain enzyme and that ultimately help in the breakdown of the food into a smallest particle okay so it means that this nervous system also processes the information from one internal system to the another internal system okay now we will see the unit of nervous system what is the unit of nervous system that is nothing but this neuron the functional unit of nervous system is neuron now we are going to study about the neuron first so let's start with the unit of nervous system that is called as neuron or we also known as nerve cell okay okay so what is it the unit which make up the nervous system are called as nerve cells okay so first we define it what do you mean by neuron okay we will right now we will see the neuron okay we study about the neuron so neuron is also known as nerve cells so how can we define it the unit which makes the nervous system okay how can the unit which makes 
makeup the nervous system is known as neuron or nerve cells and as we know that this neuron is a structural and functional unit of nervous system okay this neuron is a structural and functional unit of nervous system and you know that neuron is the largest cells in the body Uh, which look like a electrical wire. You know this electrical wire, how it is long, right? So according to that, this nerve cells, that is neuron, it is the largest. I am again repeating, it is the largest cells present in our body. Okay. So neuron that contain uh, some basic parts, as any other animal cells. But their structure is specially adapted to be able to carry the signals. That signals is known as electrical impulse and nerve impulse. Right? So, we will see the first, I will draw the structure of neuron and that, after that I will explain you what exactly it is. Okay? So, here I am drawing the structure of neuron. That is now ending, right? Here is nucleus. This is all our cytoplasm. Okay. This is all, all called as dendrites. Now I am level it. You can see this one that is called as nucleus. Okay. This is this part is known as cell body. Okay. This is cytoplasm. Okay, we can see this hair like structure, thread like structure that is called as dendrites. Okay, you can see this long tube. Okay, here is also dotted because here is also cytoplasm is present. Right? Okay, you can see this long tube. Okay, that is called as. Axon. Okay. And you can see this gap between these two nodes that is called as nodes of nodes of Ranbier. Okay. This is called as myelin sheet. Hmm. 
this is mylin shield and this is for insulation and productions and you can see that is called as schwann cells Sorry, one more labeling is called as nerve ending. Okay, so this is all about the structure of neuron. This is uh, what is diagram. This is nothing but the structure of neuron. Okay, you have to draw the structure like that. So we will see. then right now we will see the structure of neuron okay basically neuron has three component how many it has three component okay the first is called as cell body second is called as dendrites and third it's called as axon okay so this neuron a nerve cells has a three component first is called as cell body second is called as dendrites third is called as axon so here first we will see the cell body you can see the structure okay that is called as cell body so the cell body of a neuron is like a typical animal cell the cell body of neuron okay it just like a typical animal cell okay and that contain you can see that contain cytoplasm contain cytoplasm and nucleus you can see this is nucleus and this is a cytoplasm so see cell body is just like a typical animal cells it contains cytoplasm as well as this nucleus and you can see the number of long thin fibers are stretching out from the cells body of neuron okay you can see this one na no? right so it's a long thin fibers are there okay so from this uh, cell body is the number of long and thin fibers are stretching out are stretching out from the cell body is known as they are nothing but the nerve fibers that is called as nerve fibers okay whatever this long thread like structure that is called as nerve fibers okay and both the dendrites and axons arises from so what type of nerve fibers are there two type of nerve fibers are there one is called as dendrites and one is long that is arising from the cell body that is called as axon so both the dendrites so you can see here i will write here uh, okay here so both dendrites and axon right arises from the cell body of a neuron okay and both are nerve fibers right so these are information regarding the cell body okay the cell body is a typical animal cell it contains cytoplasm and nucleus and you can see the number of long thin thread like uh, fibers are stretching out of the cell body that is called as nerve fi fibers and both dendrites and axons are the nerve fibers that are arising from the cell body so next we will see dendrites okay 
so dendrites are a shorter fibers you can see short fibers this nothing but the shorter fibers okay on this body of neuron that is called as dendrites you can see the shorter fibers on the body of neuron on the body of neuron is called as dendrites so this are you can see this tree like thread like structure that is called as dendrites then we go shift to the axon what exactly you can see the longest nerve fibers of the cell body of a neuron okay this one till that is called as axon so what is axon axon is the longest fibers on the cell body cell body of neuron okay is called as axon okay and you can see axon has here insulating and protecting sheath okay that is called a myelin sheath around it okay so axon has insulating and protecting sheath okay that sheath is known as myelin sheath around us okay then that the smiling okay the smiling is generally made up of fat and protein the smiling sheet the smiling is made up of fats and protein now this is the structure of the protein now we will see how the neuron is work or working of a neuron okay so let's see the working of neuron so let's start with working of neuron okay so here the message which the neuron transmit in the form of electrical impulse right as i we already discussed okay whatever the message we transfer the neuron okay it is always in the form of which electrical impulse or it's also known as nerve impulse okay so ma the message which the neuron transmit in the form of electrical impulse is called as nerve impulse so dendrite pick up this nerve impulse you know this dendrites okay so this dendrites pick up this nerve impulse okay or a messages from the receptor it receives or i can draw the flow sheet over here it receives it pick up the nerve impulse from the receptors okay and where the receptors are there receptors are present on sense organ right now this dendrites what they do they, they pass the impulse to the cell body from dendrites pass that impulse to cell body okay yeah dendrites then it goes to the cell body okay and from cell body is then it goes to the axon you can see from it goes to the axon and from this axon is passes you can see it passes the impulse okay to this 
another neuron through the junctions that is called as synapse i will tell you okay what is it from this axon okay so this axon passes the impulse or a message we can say to another neuron through the junction and that junction is known as synapse okay again i am repeating repeat this part so you will understand very well as we know that right now we are talking about the working how the neuron is work okay so the message what do you mean by nerve impulse how can we define it already study but again i will explain the message which the neuron transmit in the form of electrical impulse that is called as nerve impulse right so dendrites what is this dendrites pick up this nerve impulse or a message from this receptor and receptor present on sense organ after that what will happen the dendrite passes this nerve impulse into the cell body and from cell body it goes to the axon and from the axon the impulse travel to the passes to the another neuron through the one junction that junction is known as synapse okay this is all about the how the neurons work then next we will see type of neurons okay next we will see here i will rough and explain you the types of neuron this is all comes under the structure of neurons okay then we say the type of neuron okay so neurons are of three types okay it has three types first is called as sensory neuron second is called as motor neuron and third is called as relay neuron okay so what do you mean by sensory neuron first we will see it transmit the impulse from sensory cells towards the central nervous system okay what is the role of neuron transmit the impulse okay what is transmission of impulse okay here they transmit the impulse from sense organs okay or from uh, we can say uh, is a sensory cells okay instead of sense it's transmit the impulse from sensory cells or we can say that sensory cells is nothing but the receptor to or towards cns that is called as central nervous system and that central nervous system includes spinal cord and brain okay so what is a sensory neuron transmit the impulse from directly sensory cell from receptor to the brain and spinal cord that is a role of sensory neurons okay then next is called as motor neurons this also transmit the impulse but this transmit the impulse from central nervous system okay that is called as spinal cord 
and bring okay towards the muscle cell okay and that muscle cell is nothing but the effectors okay so what is the role of motor neuron it take it carry the impulse okay nerve impulse it from the central nervous system it means carry the nerve impulse from the brain and spinal cord and given to and transmit towards this muscle cells so nothing but the effector organs that is all muscles and glands okay that is called as motor neurons then what about this relay neurons okay so relay neurons it occurs in both it occurs uh, in the central nervous system okay it means is present in brain as well as spinal cord right so where this serves as a link between and here in central nervous system where they serves as links between other neuron okay that are other neurons okay that are the three types of nervous system first is called as sensory neuron second motor neuron third relay neuron or a sensory neuron is transfer this impulse from yes sensory cells means from is transfer the uh, impulse from receptor to the central nervous system and spinal cord and what is the motor neuron it transmit the impulse from spinal cord and brain to the effector that is a muscle cell and what is this relay neuron it also occurs in central nervous system it means it also present in brain and spinal cord but it serves as a link between these two neurons okay that's called as a relay neuron so next we will see the transmission of a nerves impulse through the synapse how it's occurs right so let's start with this so start with that is called as transmission right of impulse through synapse okay that is new heading that comes under in structure of neurons okay. so we will see first i will draw the diagram so that you will understand very well to draw the diagram like that right and one more thing is that in biology you have to explain the answers always with the help of diagram so there is a need always draw the diagram okay now we are study the transmission of impulse okay yeah suppose this is a e and this is the b you can say that is called as synapse that's called as axon of sensory neuron and you can see this arrow that is called as electrical impulse
towards ending or you can say end of exon okay here i'm writing this is a end of exon of sensory neuron okay and you can see this that is called chemical substance chemical substance released that chemical substance is known as uh, neurotransmitter okay and this is nothing but the dendrites of next neuron okay so this is actually and the synapse is nothing but the gap between two connecting neuron that is this is two neuron a and b that is nothing but the synapse okay and what is this this is nothing but the diagram that shows the transmission of electrical impulse through synapse okay this is the name of that diagram okay now see how the trans impulse is transmitted through the synapse okay so now i will explain how the nerves impulse are transmitted from one neuron to the another neuron of this nervous system any neurons in a any two neurons in nervous system do not join to one another completely okay what i am trying you in nervous system what will happen any two neuron we are taking okay suppose this and a and this b two neuron i took right so any two neurons in the nervous system do not join to one another completely okay so you can see there is a little gap very very little small gap between this two neuron okay by means of chemical substance that substance is known as neurotransmitter again i am repeat my statement what i am telling you what i am telling you any two neurons okay any two neurons okay one this is a neuron this is b neuron okay this is two neurons these are never or we can say do not join to one another completely in nervous system okay but you can see there is a very 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 little small gap between this two neurons okay by means you can see this chemical substance okay that chemical substance is known as neurotransmitter substance so now we can see like that a microscopic gap you can see this is a microscopic gap between the pair of adjacent neuron over which this nerve impulse passes when going from one neuron to the next neuron this is called as synapse okay so how can we define the definition of synapse so definition of synapse is like that a microscopic gap there is a microscopic gap it's between a pair of adjacent neuron <coughs> over which nerve impulse pass when going from one neuron to another or next 
from one neuron to the next is called synapse means the synapse connects the neurons okay so you can see the micro very small gap present okay in between the two adjacent neuron you can see okay and from which this nerve impulse passes from one neuron to the next neuron or another neuron okay that this gap is nothing but but that gap is nothing but called as synapse okay and as we know that the synapse connect this to neuron suppose there are two neurons i am now i am explaining this one diagram okay you can see here now listen it very carefully suppose these are two neurons are there okay a and b okay i am giving you two x i am explaining this concept of transmission of impulse through the through this synapse okay so here i am taking two neurons neurons a and neuron b okay a neuron is the sensory neurons which is directly connected to the receptor okay this is sensory means this is a first neuron you can say like that okay so this is what is this portion you can see this is the end and have a nerves ending okay and that have a nerves ending no okay so that structure is this okay that ending structure this is also not working okay see you can see okay so so what is this this is a axon is long you can see this is a axon of neuron sensory neuron first neuron okay and that is structure is nothing but the a neuron okay so this is you can see uh a right a is nothing but the sensory neurons which is directly connected to the receptor which is directly connected to the receptor so here a, there is a gap between the end of this axon of a neuron a and dendrites of the next axon that is b which is called as synapse okay a is a axon of sensory neuron and b is known as dendrites in a here from that again new neurons get start so this now sending is attached to the dendrites of another and that structure is known as structure b okay now listen kya kaha maine there is a you can see this a gap this gap between this is a gap between okay end of this axon of neuron 1 and dendrites of a next neuron b which is called as synapse okay let's see how this electrical impulse transmitted through this gap between these two neuron okay so first you know that the receptor in the cent receptor is present wait okay so let's start how this nerve impulse travel to the gap between this two neuron okay so here the receptors are present right the receptors present in sense organs right and this receptors in a sense organs is in touch with dendrites of sensory neurons okay so this is 
in touch with the dendrites sensory neurons okay so you can see this receptor of the sense organs is being touched with the dendrites of sensory nerve when stimulus act on the receptor then what will happen okay when stimulus acts on when the stimulus act on receptors okay so what will happen there is a chemical reaction start okay so chemical reactions is set up it's begin and start and which produce and that chemical reaction which produce which produces or which produce an electrical impulse in it right now this impulse is travel from dendrites of sensory neurons travel to the dendrites of sensory neuron to itself body and then along its axon okay now i am explaining how it transport so just wait okay so after then it goes to the cell body from cell body it goes to the axon and from this axon okay it goes at the end of axon of sensory neuron okay from that what will happen it goes and electric impulse releases electric electrical impulse releases okay so tiny amount of chemical substance into the synapse okay this electrical imp impulse releases a, a tiny amount of chemical substance okay where into the synapse okay and from this synapse here okay here i'm writing and from this synapse this chemical impulse crosses this gap this chemical impulse process the gap and they start similar electrical impulse in dendrites of a next neuron that is neuron b and it start similar electrical
dendrites of next neuron that is called B neuron and from this dendrite it goes to the cell body and ex end of this second neuron okay so from dendrites it goes to cell body to the end of axon of second neuron and then it's transferred third neurons in similar way okay so let's start again i will explain you in chart so you will first you know that receptors are present in sense organs as you know that right and it is in touch with the dendrites of sensory neurons jo ki maine initially kaha right here i am drawing i will draw the one neuron okay this is dendrites okay so receptors in the sense organs in in touch with this dendrites this receptor okay this receptors and sense organs is in touch with the dendrites of the sensory neurons okay so when the stimulus act on the receptors so chemical changes start here okay and which produces electric impulse and this electrical impulse okay this impulse of dendrites of sensory neurons here start here kya hota hai sabse pehle receptor hota hai sense organs hota hai right sense organs and receptor hota hai okay so when the stimulus acts on the receptor what will happen there are the chemical reactions start okay when the chemical reaction start on the receptors okay and which produces electrical impulse now that's electrical impulse okay this electrical impulse then impulse present on dendrites of sensory neurons yahan pe present hai okay then is transferred from dendrite to it transfer from the cell body and from cell body it goes to this axon right and from this axon it goes to the end of this axon of sensory neurons and that is nothing but the this structure okay so you can see so this electrical impulse you can see this arrow so this electrical impulse releases tiny amount of chemical substance that is called as neurotransmitter okay this releases that chemical substance into the synapse the gap present between this two adjacent neuron a and b okay once this neurotransmitter is released in this gap what will happen okay this chemical impulse crosses this gap from this to this and it reaches this to the dendrites of the then again here the new axon neuron start but it's this is attached to the dendrites of a new axon right so once this chemical impulses crosses this gap okay so it start this start the similar electrical impulse whatever this impulse present in this a neuron okay it transfers to the neuron dendrites of this next neuron b okay and so from this dendrites then from this dendrites then again is goes into the cell body from the cell body is again it goes to the axon and from the axon it again is goes to the nerve ending of axon okay so in this way this message is get transferred to the second neuron to third third to fourth fourth to five like similar way now you got it okay so this process goes on till the electrical impulse which is the really neuron in spinal cord embryo okay so this transferring of messages is going on is going on okay until and unless this electrical impulse is not reaches to the really neuron in 
okay relay neuron which is present in spinal cord and brain okay next here i am explaining you till now you are getting right so it this chemical impulse whatever this release okay it's get transferred and finally is re reaches to this relay neuron and as you know now what where this is present it present in central nervous system it means brain and spinal cord okay now this relay neuron and motor neuron connect in similar way as you know it's a relay neuron is a connection between sensory and motor neuron okay so this relay neuron and motor neuron okay relay and motor neuron connects in a similar way to bring a nerve's impulse from brain and spinal cord to this effector okay and from this it brings nerves impulse or impulse sorry is from the brain and spinal cord to spinal cord to effectors and that effectors nothing but the muscles and glands understood or not okay it's very simple okay so synapses actually act as a one way wall kya hota hai aapko now you are getting okay this i am again explaining with the help of diagram okay so here you can see so you will understand very well here i will draw one neuron that is called as a neuron okay and here again i will draw another neuron that is neuron b here again i will draw another neuron that is c okay now listen it carefully what i am trying to say that okay how the transmission of impulse to the synapses occurs okay firstly what will happen here suppose uh, um uh, for example i am giving you i will touch a hot pan unknowingly okay so what will happen the receptor present on my skin okay hand okay so whatever the receptor present on my skin okay is in touch with this dendrites of this sensory neurons right kya hota hai jab main galti se kisi hot plate ko ya hot cheez ko main touch kar leti hu okay to usse kya hota hai स्टिमुलस आता है मेरे हैंड में और वो कैसे आएगा जो रिसेप्टर मेरे स्किन पर प्रेजेंट है सेंस ऑर्गन यहाँ पे सेंस ऑर्गन क्या है स्किन जो रिसेप्टर मेरे स्किन के ऊपर प्रेजेंट है ओके वो क्या करे स्टिमुलेट्स लेंगे एंड विद दिस दिस स्टिमुलेट्स ओके इज टच विद दिस डेंड्राइट ऑफ दिस सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स ओके सो समथिंग केमिकल चेंजेस अकर्स हियर्स ओके and it means chemical reaction is start and because of this chemical reaction it produces the here electrical impulse okay now this electrical impulse travel from dendrites then it goes to the cell body this is called as cell body and from the cell body of sensory neurons then it goes to this axon okay and finally at the end it goes to the end of this axon of neuron a so that is a 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दैट दैट इज द एंड ऑफ द एग्जॉम ओके अब क्या होता है नाउ दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्स रिचेस हियर नाउ दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्स ओके रिलीजेस सम केमिकल्स दैट केमिकल्स इज नोन एज न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर ओके नाउ दिस न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स present in between the small gap you can see that is called as synapse okay so this this electrical impulse releases tiny amount of chemical substance into this synapse okay and now this chemical impulse crosses this gap from and it reaches to the dendrites of a neuron b okay and from the dendrites of neuron b it goes to the cell body of this neuron b from the cell body it goes to the axon from the axon it goes to the end of this axon again again what will happen again this electrical impulse releases some tiny chemical compound that is neurotransmitter and this is a gap this is synapse and again this similar way this simple impulse is goes to the give the message to the dendrites of a third neuron that is c then from this electrical wave goes from dendrites to the cell body from cell body is goes to the axon from axon it goes to the nerve impulse so this process this process of transmission of this impulse okay is goes on until and unless it not reaches to the cerebellum neuron of a central nervous system जब तक ये सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम तक के पहुंचती नहीं है तब तक ये ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इम्पल्स क्या रहता है जारी रहता है शुरू रहता है ओके वंस इट रिच द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम इट मींस इट रिचेस टू द ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इन व्हाट विल हैपन दिस रिले न्यूरॉन्स एंड मोटर न्यूरॉन्स कनेक्ट इन सिमिलर वे एंड दट ब्रिंग्स अ नर्वस इम्पल्स टू द फ्रॉम ब्रेन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड टू दिस इफेक्टर दैट इज नथिंग बट द मसल्स एंड ग्लैम एंड वॉट इज अ रिस्पॉन्स what is suddenly a suddenly a touch so what is the response of that what is yes anyone know maine kaha ki main touch karti hu so what is the next response of that pull away your hand from this hot object okay suddenly i what will happen i suddenly okay fine what is the role of that i suddenly uh main apna hath us objects ke kya kar dungi baju mein kar dungi okay so that is my response and that is done by this muscles and gland is known as effector so that is called as transmission of impulse through the synapse now my question is that you can see the synapse actually act like a one way wall okay it always transfers like that only okay so my question the synapse is actually act as a one way wall why it is so okay or another uh, in another terms i will ask you one question that is synapse ensure that the nerve impulses travel only in one direction why okay so answer is like that this is because a chemical substance is present on one side of the gap you can see okay here the chemical substance are present in one side of this gap okay and due to this nerve impulse or a message through a particular set of neuron can go across only from one side to this another side or from one side which contain neurotransmitter that's why synapse actually act as a one way wall or we say this or we can another word i can say that this nerve is but travels is only in one direction so that is all about this neuron structure of neurons what are the types of neurons and how the nerves impulse transmitted through this synapse thank you